great matchup between the Big 12 and SEC. First pitch bunted, foul, and we are underway. Takes the walk, has that great batting average as well. Wax that pass to shortstop Taylor Pleasants and into left center. That's the way the game begins. Janae Jefferson. So that average keeps creeping up towards the 500. Mike White has coached a lot of great <laughs> athletes over the decades. Out in a shallow center field, Andrews wants it for the first out. Back towards the circle. Gorsuch able to field and fire over to Clark. Two to head in the count. Let's see what she serves up one and two. And that hit her. Rise ball got her. Left-handed hitting outfielder playing left field tonight. Swings at the first pitch towards second base. Taylor Tidwell. And Texas threatens, but does not score. One hit it. Two left on. She whacks one pretty deep to left center field. Diving and tipped by Rhodes. It skips to the fence, and there's the wheels in motion. Andrews standing at third with a leadoff triple, her first three-base hit of the season. Should is going to hit one out of the park at some point this season. And she is going to score the game's first run as Taylor Pleasance jumps on the first pitch, sends it up the middle, grabs her team leading 19th RBI. And strikes her out on the 3-2 pitch for the first out. Courted was a pop-up. And Siri walks. Off the end of the bat, out to shallow center, and it's going to drop. The lead runner, Pleasant, stops at third. And LSU has loaded the bases. Play. Instead, a strikeout of Briggs for the second out. Texas can get out of this, allowing just the one run. If you're a Longhorn, you got to feel like we escaped the big inning, and they just may do that. Janae Jefferson makes the catch. Affects, in my mind, games two, games three. And that came in and got her on the elbow. So we'll see how it plays out. But you know the, the line of thinking that I'm... So not quite the schedule that LSU has played. She puts a charge into one, a line drive into left. And a base hit for Jordan Whitaker, who can... Hit some balls with authority. Game with runners on base. Puts it in play softly out to short. Pleasance on the first. But in essence, Courtney Day accomplishes what she wanted to do when she came to the plate, and that's advanced Sullivan to third. Once again to Pleasance. She makes the play again. Two on, nobody out. Texas fails to score. one nothing LSU after an inning and a half. Locates. Towards short, diving stop. Alyssa Washington from a knee and a high throw over Lauren Burke. Tidwell slides into second. What probably is going to be a hit and in the zone, something she can get under and elevate. Left her something to hit. Goes to deep center, but it's caught by Ooh. Shannon Rhodes. Ele elevate so they can celebrate. <laughs> Got that to deep center field, and it's celebration time! <laughs> she didn't elevate it all that much, but elevated it enough to get it out to dead center. Sixth of the year for Shannon Rhodes, and this game is all tied up. And you, you know how it is, Mark. It is all about leverage, and this is a 3-1 count. She gets a pitch up in the zone. She is not fooled by it and just takes it deep over center field. Look at the power in her legs, the way she gets that front foot down, barrels it up, and is just sprinting all the way around. And know where your coach is. Yeah. That's out towards center field, and a little duck snort drops in the outfield for Lauren Burke. That for Texas in a 3-2 to Iacopo. And she walks. That's the first walk allowed by Gorsuch. For pitches very effectively. Washington tags one to center that drops in in front of Andrews. Throw cut off. Lead runner Burke stops at third. And now Texas has loaded the bases with one out. So much talent and depth. 
Off the end of the bat to center. Off the glove of a diving Aaliyah Andrews. Burks in. Ayacopo to the plate. RBI double for Colleen Sullivan. And Texas is up 3-1. to one. Fifth and sixth RBIs for Colleen Sullivan this year. And Whitaker to the on the left field line. And Briggs makes the catch. And tagging and scoring is Caitlin Washington with the fourth run of the inning for Texas. Allowed four so far here in the top of the third. Day pops it up. And the third baseman Doyle moves over to make the catch. Clark hits that to center. Pelk is there. Very quick inning for O'Leary. Rhodes is hit by pitch. Third batter struck. You're going to get a lot of good pitches to look at. Over Gorsuch. Flip. Not in time. It's second from Tidwell to Pleasance by pitch. Burke an infield hit. And a big strikeout for Gorsuch as she K's Ayacopo and keeps Texas off the board in the top of the fourth. Well, it makes her hand slipperier, but it will dry off your hand. Ball belted by Newland is center, but plenty of room for Papelka. That takes care of LSU. We have taken care of four innings. 4-1, Texas. He hits tonight for the Horns. Right on the off speed and slaps it past Taylor Pleasanton into center field. Andrews able to gather it quickly enough to prevent Sullivan from attempting to advance the second. And a leadoff hit. That's the third time you can hit for yourself when you're pitching. Out towards the shortstop, and the basket catch is made by Taylor Pleasance. It's ball four up around the grill, Andrew. So she walks. To Got her to chase down. Three consecutive strikeouts for O'Leary. Nine, one, and two part of the order for the Horns. First pitch, Hackett, Washington. Deep center and goodbye. Wow. Her second of the year in a no doubter way up the terrace in center. Texas is very excited about Alyssa Washington and her ability. She's in that shortstop position. Anchoring is so hard for a freshman. And the reason she's there is because she can hit like this as well. A pitch up in the zone and she elevates it out of the park. Look at her hands, how quiet they are. It's right at the belt. And she gets all into that pitch. No hesitation, just really good barrel to ball. Unless you faithful, do not fear. <laughs> And a strikeout of Burke. Wickersham looks sharp. She sets down the first three she faces. 5-1 Texas. Good team in the Big 12. Lost to them a couple of times as well. That's run it out in front of the plate. Tough play. Safe. Infield hit for Sierra Briggs. Pitch was up and it's hit the center and hit deep. And it gets out. It's five to three. Well, the one hitter that's been a major thorn in the side of Shea O'Leary tonight has been Taylor Tidwell. Yeah, Tidwell's been on base every at bat. She takes this pitch that's up in the zone and just pops it out of the park. Talk about Tidwell playing a really good second base, but her bat has started to come alive, hitting out of that nine spot. Look at the elation. And then she calms down. She's like, I knew I could do that. <laughs> Elevation to have a chance yeah. to rob that and pull it back. And here's Newland to right. And it's back to back. Newland's third of the year, and it's a one run game. LSU. 
LSU coming alive in the lower half of the lineup. Eight and nine going back to back. Late in the game here, this pitch just elevated. See it at the belt. And Newland gets all into it and drives it the opposite way. Up to short, it's off Washington. And the inning will continue, and the potential tying run is on for LSU. In Trying to figure out how to get that out. That ball is to right, it's down. Andrews is going to advance to third. Taylor Pleasant's second hit of the game, and LSU still going here in the sixth. Doyle. This game's tied. First hit of the night for Amanda Doyle. That makes the two out error by Texas really hurt, and LSU has come all the way back. Strike three call on the outside corner. So if she gets a hit, there's a 75% chance it'll leave the park. <laughs> Not what you wanted to do for LSU, though, and that's walk no. the leadoff batter in the center. Well, it's been an exciting game that does not have a conclusion. It does have a second rain delay now as the tarp is back on the field.